Okay, this is on the Shelly job, number 53261. Um, we are just replacing this furnace with the 90% two-stage furnace. Um, so the new furnace will actually sit back six inches from where it is now. And the right side will be straight here. The new furnace is 21 inches, so it'll just sit closer to the wall. Um, but yeah, for new furnace will sit on the base, and there's a coil in here. You're gonna reuse the existing coil base in here, but I did give you new duct. So I gave you a U-shaped piece of duct, which is 25 and a half inches long. I'm, Hoping your coil is only 24 inches tall, but then a canvas, and then I gave you a uh, a six-inch starting collar. So your cut line will be just I wrote it on the bottom of the duct. Sorry, my flashlight went out, but side to side, and you'll re take this out. And there's a duct coming off the side. You just modify that a little bit. But that just goes to the bathroom, so it doesn't want too much. <laughs> anyway, um, so you put in a 20 by 25 filter box, duct just as it shows, um, cut line up here, side to side. So, so the new furnace will sit back six inches. Um, And um, this vent here goes into the garage. So I was told we need to disconnect this and patch it over there behind the furnace. And just disconnect it and good to go there. So that's it on that. So combustion air. We have no combustion air in here for the water heater. Um, so I told him behind the washer, we'll add a 12 by 12 grill low and one high right here. Okay, our vent, we'll vent out two inch PVC to a flat termination. And he's got this dryer vent here, which is obviously illegal. I told him that, that this is really illegal. But anyway, um, so our two inch PVC to a flat termination at the back. We need to be four feet from this dryer vent. So from the dryer vent to the corner is exactly four feet. <laughs> to the corner back there. So I told him we'd come four feet up here this way, which is, you know, there's a window right here, but it's over this vent. So punch out there and then run our pipes over to the furnace and over and down. Okay. Okay, so our water heater flew back here i'm going to remove the water heater t wish my light works sorry um and you have six inch b vent coming through the wall put a six inch 90 on there and then a six to four b vent reducer and then a four inch draft hood and then redo the water heater in four inch aluminum okay so your AC, I'm going to leave as is, um, just reuse that coil base in there. Um, the drain, so the AC side is going to be fine, but um, your furnace drain, it's going to need the condensate pump. So condensate pump and then pump it up and um back into this tube so i will give you a 
like a three quarter. Well, just pump them both into this tube. Um, but I, yeah, I give you a three quarter inch female adapter and a three quarter inch brommet, three eighths, to tap back into that drain. Okay, thermostat, you're gonna put on a two stage Honeywell thermostat. Um, so you're gonna add return air in the basement. So, um, right next to the furnace, this is a bathroom, so we can't do anything there. Um, so I have, as adding a return air in these back two joist spaces of the hallway. Um, and I drew some cut lines on this on the return air deck about here. But we'll take a 10 by 30 and a half 90 to a 6 by 30 and a half 90 and just tap it into the wall and pan down the wall and put on a 30 by 6 flat grill. Um, high above the cement so you got the cement lip here so make sure when you cut your grill in that you go above that lip you know back there homeowner said he's gonna clean all this out he was concerned about when you drill the hole about um, knocking cement and stuff out and down all his stuff so when you drill these holes, make sure you put some under there to to cover it, you know, so you don't knock the cement. They are center block there, so um, so yeah. Okay, and that's about it. Thanks.